For reading, brother. What would you get out of that reading? Uh, basically, out of... Um, I guess just something like applying yourself and understanding, you know, uh, that you, you, know, you make a conscious decision every day to, to go forward, you know, um, you know, without, you know, uh, reliving, you know, um, from your past mistakes. Okay. So that's basically yeah, exactly. what I got out of it. Okay. How just, much? Wait. Just accepting responsibility for yourself, being, being an adult. You know? Okay. All right. You accept responsibility for you? Today I do. That'd be good. How much time you have playing? Uh, Jesus, uh, 90, 40s. Hey, all right, all better. Yeah. Yeah. All right, thank God for last night's rest this morning. Rise, thank God for his grace and his mercy. Grace is always giving me what I don't deserve, and mercy is not giving me what I do deserve, and for that, I'm eternity grateful. How the brothers doing? Thank and sisters. Good. Good. All right, okay, my name is Darby Knight. My partner, Robert Hayes, is here in spirit, but not in the physical. That's Brother Dash, that's his sister, Miss Deborah. And back here is Katina. All right, together, Minds of Men, nonprofit spiritual organization. We don't deal with religion. Um, I'm an immigrant and I'm a gypsy from Baltimore City, baby <laughs> Afghanistan. Not a dope in Baltimore, right? And um, I left Baltimore, came to Philadelphia, wanted to go to New York. I got a lot of cousins in the Bronx, so I didn't, they, you know, it was really special staying in New York. So I landed in South Philadelphia. And when I came to South Philly, I started tricking and got tricked. <laughs> All right? And with that right there, then then I wound up, you know, having, you know, women in my stable. And that was the catalyst for me to start smoking coke. I sniffed dope back home, didn't like it, quit dope before I caught a dope habit. Ecstasy, tried that, liked it instantly. But I couldn't get it no more than this one time. But my MO, my three giants in my life, poisonous giants in my life was what weed, coke, and alcohol. Right? And it was hard to stop using. Right? I mean, the eight recovery programs can clean for 30 days, change my mind, and go get high. Clean for two months, catch amnesia, and go get high. Always talking clean, because I was always living dirty. Do anybody got that problem in here? Who talk clean but live dirty? Anybody? Okay, very good. This is not a witness protection program, okay? All right? I'm not a cop. I'm not wired, all right? All right. All right. So listen, so let's just take off the mask. Everybody, let's get real and let's recover, all right? So let's get into it. If anybody open up the um the, 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 um, the recovery Bible, is you see what? 12 steps of recovery. I never make it religious. I always keep it spiritual because people got different beliefs. And I used to beef with an atheist. Anybody used to beef with an atheist? Nobody. That was my story, yeah. I said, who woke you up? He said, I did. <laughs> I said, you OD and die? He said, yeah, I did. I said, well, who saved you? I did it again. <laughs> <laughs> I, that man got power I don't know nothing about, right? So, yeah. uh, I said, you got it, all right? So I just left him right alone, right? So I learned <laughs> when you make the room, the atmosphere, the language, the dialogue about religion, you, sometimes you what? You can what? You can uh, marginalize people. So we keep it spiritual. Religion is what team you play for. Spirituality is how we execute on a battlefield called life. Oh, so we yeah. keep it spiritual, yeah. not yeah. religious. Everybody yeah. understand that? So yeah. everybody's saying what? Inclusive. So you don't have to believe. You can believe in this chair is your power. We still welcome. All right. So let's get into it. All right. Twelve laws. We're going to. I got seven here. I'm going to try to add more on as time permits. All right. So there's twelve laws of recovery. Then we can add our own flavor on it. Y'all ready to have fun? Yeah. Let's get with it. Number one, powerlessness will result in strength. Powerlessness will result in strength. Who don't understand that? How can I admit that I'm powerless to get strength at the other end of the spectrum? I yell, I'm powerless here, and I get over there and yell, I get, I get strength. Because I got to admit that I'm powerless. Anybody hear that? So I got to admit, submit to what? The program. And as I submit to the program, I got to be committed to the program until they bury my black ass six feet deep. No vacations. Do everybody understand that? When you take breaks, you get a passport and go to the land of I don't, I do what I want to do. That's trouble. Powerlessness. Who here worried about what, what people think about you? Anybody? Anybody worry about, anybody worry about what people think about you? So it's hard to raise your hand because they might laugh at you. Thank you. 
And I, you know, God, we know what God showed me. He said, yo, God, go to the store and get yourself a blunt. Come back with that blunt. Open up the blunt. Put everybody's opinions in that blunt. Roll up that blunt. Light that blunt and smoke that blunt and watch how high you get mm. off the opinions of other men. You'll go crazy. Because y'all didn't save me. God did. Y'all didn't snatch me out of the crack house. God did. Y'all didn't take the alcohol off my lips. God did that. You didn't have a recipe for me to stop smoking cigarettes. God did that. But I was willing. But I knew I was powerless over those vices that was killing my behind. I do home health care. And my client, he's a doc, close to a diabetic. And he took one of his toes. And I went to the doctor. And they said, Mr. McKnight, your, your level, you this close to being a diabetic. Anybody see that? Yeah. And he want to give me metformin. Anybody know what metformin? And it has side effects. And it took it was taking hair out of my head. I was looking like George Jefferson. <coughs> I yeah. said, I'm not taking no more of that right there. But my brother said, because my brother had um, blood cancer, right? I forgot the name of it, right? But he said, listen, 70% of the food in the grocery store, you can't eat. Yeah, you right. Anybody hear that? TV dinners, no more. Processed meat, no more. I'm like, damn, juice, no more. He said, if you want juice, eat grapes. Right. You want juice, get pineapples. You want juice, bite an apple. You want juice, cut up an orange. You want juice, grab a banana, monkey. <laughs> <laughs> so, if you, so if you want the real juice, you gotta get fruits. Cause all that stuff is what? Process. And if you want to live, you got to do what you want to do. And see, I, 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 I equate that with what our, our behaviors. Because a lot of us don't want to change. We might say it, but we don't want to. I want to be the same gangster in treatment. It don't work. I want to be the same whore in treatment. It don't work. I want to be the same klepto, kleptomaniac. It don't work. The same busybody. Change we must or die we will. I'm powerless over what I used to do. <laughs> the streets, the lifestyles. And when I surrender, I get strength. I got tw I got 15 years strong, all because I submitted and was committed to the program. And it all started with what? One day. Powerlessness will result in strength. We have to admit it, submit it, and be committed to the program. Number two, humility will result in what? Honor. Who's working on being humble in here? That's big. Yes, you want to take a swing at that pitch right there. Why? Somebody here might be talking like they Bruce Lee or John Wick of the program. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, Superman, the, the video, Fantastic Four in the building, right? And yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, but look, 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 look. I didn't come for that action. Anybody hear that? So I got to say what? Humble. He might be talking slick. I got to bring him love. That's uncomfortable. He talking behind my back. Got to bring him love. That's uncomfortable. Yo, he up in my face talking slick. That's uncomfortable. Am I not talking about? And I got to what? Be humble. Long as they don't touch me. Am I hear that? Because we don't fight in here like we fought out there. Out there was worldly. In here, it's spiritual. And the enemy comes as provocateur. And you know what that means? Button pushers. Are they in here? People to come to push our buttons to get a rise out of us. Anybody in here? Uh -huh. Somebody lying. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Provocateurs. Provocateurs. All right. And, 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 and look, look, see New York. See New York right here. Right. 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 And look, look, look. I, my job is about provocateur. New York. He's happy. I'm not. He gives. I won't. He pray. I don't. He care. I don't. He love. I won't. Mm. He'll forgive, I'll fight. <laughs> He'll call the police, I'll shoot you. <laughs> We're totally different. You hear what I'm saying? Yeah. So his light is bright spiritually, right here at Good Friends. So my job as a provocateur is to put out his light because it's shining so bright. And he becomes a what? An influence of other brothers in the program. So my job is to put his light out because some brothers might be trying to come out the darkness into the light, but he's an inspiration to them. So the enemy comes to attack the brother who's miserable in there. Anybody miserable? Anybody here ungrateful? King babies in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah all right. Gotta be what? Humble. Who ain't told you to ask for help? Hell, I'm gonna go home and my, my baby mama or my, my wife, she still run her mouth. I gotta smack her ass in a circle like Beetlejuice. Help! 
I got a job. The shoe set me up for a job. I can't even talk, talk. And I didn't tell her I can't read or write. Mm. Hell, my kids, like, they miss daddy. They miss daddy, but daddy ain't ready to be a father. Mm. Help. Every time I get a job, I get my first paycheck. I'm MIA. Oh. Missing in action. Mm. Help. Humility, asking for help. How do you stay clean off of dope and you've been shooting dope for 15 years? Help, how do you stop smoking crack and you've been a crackhead for the majority of your life? Help, how do you stop drinking when you're dealing with depression and, and misery and unhappiness? Help, how do you stop smoking weed and hiding behind municipal cards? Mm. And you don't even got cataracts. <laughs> <laughs> help, playing here, we die out there. Anybody hear that? Yeah. Play in here, we die out there. Stay humble. Be bigger than words and keep asking for help. I got 15 years and I'm still got my hands up asking for help. My credit is in the what? It's not in the toilet, it just came out of the toilet. It's emerging from the toilet. <laughs> my credit score is like a 545, almost a 570. Woo! And I asked for help for what? Trying to get a credit repair. And my stepdaughter said, how about self? The app called what self? Yeah. And I download it, and guess what? They take money out of my, my debit card every month to raise my credit. Did it raise that? It, it, it's getting there. Today. I need a confirmation yeah. treatment. <laughs> 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 it's still got some money. Yeah, it's good. <laughs> I, I got to ask for the right help, all right? Uh -huh. <laughs> I know what the right uh -huh. So humility we talking what? Honor. Everybody hear that? I used to be a house manager. I used to get cussed out on the daily. I ain't paying no rent. Kiss my ass. Right. He got high. F you and this program. <laughs> <laughs> he got high. I come in when I get ready. Yeah. He got high. Everybody who bucked in beef, they got high. That's why I thank God for Miss Sue, because I seen her even though she had kids, she had a time of absence, came back after the kids, and she's still here. That's a beautiful thing. That's a beautiful thing. Some men don't like women in authority because they got issues with their mothers. Yeah. Let's go deep. I'm a forensic ghetto black Kojak. I forgot to tell you that. <laughs> yeah, I don't like talking up here. I talk down here. Because yeah. up here keeps me what? Crazy, superficial, and sick. Down here, expose me, keep me transparent, and I start to get what? Help! Get into my Pandora box. I shoot dope, that's fruit talk. Why I shoot dope? That's roots. I'm depressed, miserable, and a hate tour. That's fruit talk. But why I'm depressed, why I'm miserable, and why I'm a hate tour is root talk. Gotta start going to your Pandora box to give up the taste like Richard Nixon on your life. Because we can come in here and be dressed up trash cans and come in here crazy, but leave out of here double crazy. I've been there too. Number one, powerlessness will result in what? Strength. Amidst, submit, and be committed to this process until we die. Humility will result in what? Honor. Who remember who saw the movie um, Men of Honor? Yeah. yeah. Good movie. So, Good movie. How the guy, the, the generals up there say, I will never have a black man become a, what, whatever, whatever he was saying, right? Is there, yeah. right? And I remember he was standing up to pass the test and how he jumped in the water and they cut his bag. And he was under the water for. For hours there, yeah, yeah. trying to yeah. get the pieces yeah. together, yeah. right? And he wound up and what com completed the assignment. Yeah. Beautiful movie. Yeah. And 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 Robert De Niro said, "Yo, he said he was about to break the what the clock." Right. He said, "No." He said, "He said, why do you care? Why you try so hard?" Something he was saying like that. He said because he said I can't have it. Powerful. Men of what honor? Yeah, that's a good movie. Men of what honor? Who still look at color? And that's in the way of you recovering. Who know in a shooting gallery, in a crack house, on a deli we was the United Nations? I didn't give a damn what color you was. You got dimes? Give me two. You got chewy? Yeah. You got a lighter? That's all that mattered. I didn't care what color you was. And some of us come out of what? The death chambers, now we got indifference problems. A Caucasian got hurt just like a black man. Puerto Rican, Spanish, same thing. Yo, forget the color, look at the heart of the individual. Then it start dropping those barriers, and I could get humble and start asking for help. Can my help mother come from a black man? Come from a Caucasian guy? Because I'm humble today. It could not come from a man. It could come from Miss Sue. Because I'm humble. How about number three? Forgiveness will result in what? Free dumb. Who got free to get dumb? Mm. Free, yay, and dumb. 
I've been there. Me too. Freedom, all right? Dummy. <laughs> forgiveness. Who working on forgiveness? Who can't, who can't forgive? Who holding grudges? Who still duct taped to what we did? Anybody want to take a swing at that pitch right there? Forgiveness. Why is it hard to forgive us? It starts with us, then it ends, it spreads out to everybody else. Anybody want to take a swing at that? Forgiveness. Who's still mad at their mothers? <clears throat> Who mad at their pops? Because we have resentment, it breeds anger. One, one guy said, listen, my mother, she was always on dope. She chose dope before she chose her what? Her own kids. And her mother what? She died when he was what? 15. He put a needle in his arm for the first time and he fell in love with dope and he understood why his mother was never there. A Puerto Rican girl told me this. She said, listen, when I was what? From five years old, um, uh, my, my mother strangled my dog right in front of my face. I love animals. I would never want to see that, right? She said, when I was seven years old, my mother, I flooded the washing machine in the basement. She grabbed me by my ankles, hung me upside down, and started beating on me. At nine years old, I had the script to tell my mother, your boyfriend is touching me. And my mother, her response, she grabbed a knife from the drawer and put it to my neck. At 15, now she what? She living a wildlife. Now she pregnant. And she has a son, but he died of SIDS. 17, back at it again. Now she has a son. A, a what? He, she has a what? A daughter at 17. And now she's mad. And she has resentments because what? She want to replace the son that she what? Lost. And she had resentments. And she couldn't forgive. And she couldn't get free. Because she had so much resentments towards what? Her mother. Hurt people. Hurt people. One girl from West Philly told me this. She said, my mother had me. I came when I was born. I had what? I was born in at one pound, five ounces. Y'all hear that? Yeah. And the mother left. And it's like Antoine Fisher. And the father, he left. Both our parents are deceased. Now she had what? A daughter. And she, she leaving her daughter just like her mother left her. Forgiveness will result in what? Freedom. Easy said than what? Done. My ex-wife used to beat my ass. Why? Whenever we have a why in our lives with no answers, we can have what? Resentments. She used to put her hands on me. She was verbally abusive. Talk about my mother. Talk about me. Talk about my brother, etc., etc. But God said, you need a what to answer your why. To take you off of what? Resentment. So you can start having what? Forgiveness. So you can start having what? Free. No. Um, <laughs> and her son got murdered. That's the what to answer my why. So I can stop having resentment so I can start having forgiveness. Her mama tried to abort her with a hanger. That's the what to answer my why so I can stop having resentments. Every man she dated cheated on her. Her sister had slept with her boyfriend, had two kids by her boyfriend. And then I had to realize that her people hurt people. Then guess what? Then three steps for forgiveness for me, God showed me. You got to what? Understand them, to accept them, to finally forgive them. Anybody in here who got resentment towards anybody in your life, you got to go to what? To their profile, their makeup, how was they raised? And that's important because some fathers don't stay because my grandfather didn't stay, so my father didn't stay, and I see myself unraveling as what? Being a father. Because it's generational what? Curses. All of us need to be scissors to cut the umbilical cord to that insanity that still exists in our family. Members, we got to forgive so we can live. Easy said, then done. How about number four? Service will result in a what? A reward. Service will result in a what? A reward. Who, who know about volunteering? Is volunteer to volunteer? Is that a blessing? Yes, it is. It, wow, what's up? What's your name? Yo, David. Hey, David, how you doing? Hey, David. It's what? It makes you feel good, proud. Very good. Like yeah. smile, face that you do something. Yes. Yeah. Anybody hear that? Yeah. How much time you got clean, Dave? Today's 120 days. Yeah. Yeah. God bless you. Anybody else in service? I used to be in crack houses helping people. You need some shoes? I got you. <laughs> Your sister need a place to stay? I know I know somebody who no. got a room for her. I always help people, even when I was dying. I was always in service. Anybody hear that? Any people pleasers in here? Yeah, you want to speak on that? Codependency, people pleasing. 
Why is that dangerous? How can that get in the way of why our recovery? Come on, keep it quick. Don't ever worry about myself. Yourself, yourself. Say what? Keep the focus on yourself. 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 Very yeah. good. All right. Come, every time. Very good. Come on. Come on, Katina. You say keep it quick. Keep it quick, yes. Could we do it? Yeah, could we? You're talking about um, people pleasing. People pleasing, right. right. Um, hi, my name is Katina. Hey, Katina. I've been uh, clean for about 11 years now. All right. Okay. I, I met Derek tonight about eight years ago, maybe nine years ago. Um, we just walked with Derek tonight, uh, being a people pleaser. Uh, I had a ministry registered, but I didn't have the food program registered. And um, I would go into stores and ask um, how to get um, items for personal hygiene kits so we could take it to recovery programs. And um, they would give me food. And uh, being the people pleaser, uh, one of the things was how to identify to register that a separate entity so that it can work for me as well as giving it out to other people. Right. Um, through that process, um, I lost a lot of areas and knowledge of how to build a business, how to build a nonprofit. And also through that process, I had um, was walking homeless. I, I fed a lot of people while I was homeless, <clears throat> sleeping on my cousin's floor while she was um, using her door to Section 8. Mm -hmm. Asking people for help, and they're not really understanding that when someone has a business or a nonprofit that's serving communities like this location or organization like this, they don't understand how serious it is. And um, not having enough knowledge to be able to write the grant or the grant application to get the funds or the donations in order to move forward out of homelessness. Um, I thank God for the mercy and I thank God for the grace. Uh, I started a prayer program following Derek and um, someone came on Facebook and gave me $5,000. That's how I started the process of coming out of homelessness. Mm -hmm. Service. Mm -hmm. Thank you for letting me share. Thank you for sharing. All right. All right. All good. Hey, who's on people money in here? What happened? What happened when they don't pay you back? Do you want? No. I had to wait. Oh, you had to wait? I wait. Okay. I waited a long time, but they gave it to me. Okay. But guess what? What? I never gave it to them again. I thought that's right. All right. Just set boundaries. The reason why I asked that because, listen, when you give somebody, you should give from here. Oh, I did. Because if I give him a cigarette, he will never hear it again because I gave from what? Yeah. Nigga, you owe me like nine. He got more. shoes. He needs shoes. I gave him shoes. He would never hear it again. Right. He need toothpaste and a toothbrush. He would never hear it again. Right. He needs some pajamas. Yo, I got them. He would never hear it again because I gave from here. And how they pay me back is help somebody yeah. else. And that's how I get down. Some people don't give from here. Yeah. They get with what? We give them motives. And they'll follow you around the campus, around the golf course, with my cigarette in. Remember, I just yeah. gave you some sneakers and all that, man. But that's why I say, yo, keep your deeds. You're not going to hold me hostage over no goddamn USAs or no Newports or no Marlboros or no good deeds. Keep your good deeds if you don't give from here. A good deed, that's Muslim. Because, see, I've been in programs and fights jumped off over chunk change. Yeah, yeah. And get that petty. Some people are so, so distracted of why they really here. Uh -huh. Not for cigarettes. Not for no egos. Not for no um, prestige. Not to talk war stories all day long. Why are we here? Recovery. To get our lives together. That's right. To recover. Yeah. Mind got to recover. Heart got to get circumcised to recover. Yeah. So I can become out here a better brother, better man, godly man, godly husband, godly brother, godly father, godly nephew. Yeah. Transform men. That's been delivered. You know the difference between that? See, to be, to recover, I'm gonna say to be clean, that means I'm on pause. I'm cleaning crazy. Right. To recover, meaning guess what? I'm changing the way I think, old ideas and behaviors. But to be delivered, that's where I wanna be at. You can drop a pound of crack and a kilo can drop, drop right on this damn table. I won't pick it up. Come on, deliver it. Am I talking about it? But I still won't put my life in jeopardy with stuff like that, but deliverance. You're being delivered. That's why I want to be. I want to be delivered from what? Death. 
so I can start to what? Live, stay in service. Who remember um, Ebenezer Scrooge? Yeah. I love that, yeah, my humbug. Yeah, he was a rich old man, but he was mean. Yeah. He said, I should fire your ass. <laughs> <laughs> you have your ass back here after Christmas. <laughs> it was real mean, right? Yeah. <laughs> but he had three dreams. And when the third dream woke him up out his dream, then he got nervous, then he was scared. And then he went to bed by humbug, woke up, Merry Christmas. Yeah. Now his hands was what? Open. That's God's economy. Keep your hands open, because God will fill them, bless them. Fill them, bless them. Yeah. Fill them, bless them. Fill them, bless them. That's God's economy. You can never keep anything unless you, you give, give it away. away. Yeah. Unless you give it away in service. Not for what accolades. I'm doing it from here. That's called integrity. Mm -hmm. Doing the right thing for the right reason when no when every when nobody's looking. If I drop twenty dollars on the floor, who will put their foot on my twenty dollars? Say the serenity prayer. We <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. see you in three months. We come here once a day every three months. Yeah. Yeah. Keep that. <laughs> like Johnny Carter, may that twenty dollars give you hell. <laughs> may twenty dollars give you hell. Let me stop that. Let me move on to that play. I'm just playing. Right. I'm just playing. Right. <laughs> In service. Yeah. In service. You gotta stay in service. Yeah. Because guess what? Like, like we, this is good friend. We talked about this the other night at the Bowling Green Brothers event. We talk about why and, and, and we carry programs. And we be like um good friends airplanes. And a lot of us we be in airplanes and we jump out the airplane and we got our parachute, we grab the parachute and we land it on what? Nothing. And some of us are bored. Who bored in here? Who's idle in here? I'm bored with me and I'm idle with you. I'm in trouble. I don't know what to do with my life. All I got to do is what? Get in service. Make an AA meeting. Get show up early. Set up the chairs. Get the coffee. Get the ashtrays. Put up the literature. You in what? Service. Then they can move over to it's a high school in the Northeast called Bridgeway. The only high school I heard in PA that's for what? For kids that's on drugs. And who's better to help them? That people who what? Live that life. Stay in service and your reward will come from heaven, not from man. Because man is fickle. They love you today, be ready to kill you tomorrow. Look what they did to Jesus. Hosanna! Make room for him! And the same people who shouted that, talking about, yo, crucify him. They, they, they betrayed Jesus for 33 cents. Somebody here would betray me for a goddamn Lucy. Let's keep moving. <laughs> yeah, that's real. <rude. laughs> I'm never naive. Never naive, right? Because man is fickle. How about honesty? We're resulting in what? Trust. Who the liars at in here? Decepticons. Y'all lying now. <laughs> liars. We lie? Who lied to the judge? Who lied to get here? Who intake was a lie? Who could be the lie detector test? Who lied to women? I love you. <laughs> I ain't gonna hit you no more, baby. I promise. Stop crying. That's the last time I put my hands on you. <laughs> Daddy be back like blow. Johnny Depp making com making promises and don't keep them. Liars. I ain't stealing and got it on me. Am I talking about Miss Sue? Get the cup. I ain't high. I'm ready to pee. Here's the cup, Mr. McKnight. I can't pee. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Sue, give me 20 minutes. <laughs> Why is Mr. McKnight running down a hill? <laughs> Liars. <laughs> we all lie, all right? We all lie. We gotta get what? <laughs> gotta get honest. Say, man, that for us to recover, we got to get honest. Oh, God. Easy said that what? <laughs> Done. All right? Shake somebody's hand and really don't like them. Uh -huh. Alright, gotta and, be honest. And say forgive me and either do some dirt or yeah. they say, yeah, I forgive you, don't forgive you. It's a lie. No <laughs> who, who lie. Who lie about commission? That's habitual liars. Everything yeah. about lives is a lie. <laughs> who lie about omission? <laughs> Tell half of the story and still what? Lying. You're lying. <laughs> we gotta give up the taste like Richard Nixon. Mm -hmm. The Warren Commission, when they shot JFK, lie. When people lie, people die. And they, the people that JFK didn't like or fired was on the Warren Commission, a bunch of liars, to feed up the community on a lie. One man can do that? No way. No way. I love Oliver Stone. The way he what? He showed of the murder of JFK was awesome. 
because no way in the world you can be from a book, book, book the depository store and bust shots like that accurately. Got hit in the neck, yes, that there. But in the you know, to the left and to the back, that was by the grassy knoll. Lies. When people lie, people die. I want y'all to watch something for those who be on YouTube. Watch Loose Change. That's in your pocket. And you'll love that document, just 9-11. Rosie O'Donnell said, yo, jet fuel can't melt steel. Let me say that again slowly, because I quickly talk. Yep. Jet fuel can't melt steel. And when she said that, they automatically got rid of Rosie O'Donnell yep. from The View. Because yep. now you're talking about the what? Government. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah. right people lie, people die, lose change. And the firefighters was on their backs in Manhattan hospitals. Talking about they heard explosions in the the building, they blew the columns. Demolition experts looked at it and said, yeah, that's like, that's how we blow up casinos. That's how we blow up projects. They came down the same way. Mayor Giuliani walking around with defective walkie talkies, talking to nobody. When people lie, people die. And over 3,000 soldiers lost their lives, went to a sovereign country, found no weapons of mass destruction, and they died. When people lie, people die. And when you watch that, you'll go to your something about pop-up called Deception 88. More liars. Bush 4. Deception 88. Who was the drug lord in Panama? And in the United States, when he won't play ball no more, then they what they bomb Panama. Check that out. You'll love it right there. They gotta work. When people lie, people die. How about Rosewood? Have I seen Rosewood the movie? Based on a true story? And when the, when the Caucasian girl was cheating on her, her husband with another Caucasian man, and then the guy she was cheating on beat her up, and a woman scorned is not to be played with or taken lightly, and she came out because she had to tell, tell on somebody, she lied and said, nigga, black man. And then he'll really say, yeah. And he got drunk because that was the motivation they always wanted. And they got the guns together and started killing innocent people on lies. And by the end of the movie, her husband beat her up. Because you know everything you told was what? Not the truth. When people lie, people die. I got to get honest. Because I like drugs, but I don't like what they do to me. Sometimes I love dope, but I don't like being dope sick. I like coke, but I don't like being broke. Uh -huh. Can't have it both ways. Gotta surrender and give it up. Stay honest. Stay honest. Will result in what? Trust. How about this right here? Sacrifice will result in what? Success. What do we gotta sacrifice to succeed in life? Our addiction. What you saying? Our addiction. You wanna speak on that? If we could give up all, for instance, I, to get high cost money. Mm -hmm. If I stop getting high, I have to save all that money. Mm -hmm. And then I could go on, on vacations, I could get cars, I could. Live a normal life. Very good. Very good. How much time you got, Clint? About 80 something days. Hey, all right. God bless you. <laughs> sacrifice. Anybody else? To succeed, we got the sacrifice. Come on. What's your name? My name is Doug. I hey, had, Doug. I had to sacrifice my best thinking because my best thinking keeps getting me on places like this and I can't do it by myself. So if I sacrifice that and turn my will over, then I will be well. Awesome, Doug. How much time you got, Clint? Uh, 78 days. Hey, all right. God bless you. <laughs> All right, sacrifice. Anybody else got to sacrifice? Who eat first, the man, woman, or child? The child. Yeah. How about if you got a lot of food? Who eat first? The man. The man. That was old school. That was old school, right? Sacrifice. <laughs> who here? Who here? Know what happened? What happened if you got twenty dollars? A uh, NA tax or a pack of Newports? Pack of Newports. <laughs> <laughs> download the NA tax. <laughs> Give me ten copies. <laughs> Sacrifice. Everybody hear that? Doing what I don't want to do, but I need to do to I get to the place that I want to be. Everybody hear that? Sacrifice. Everybody hear that? Yo, how about going to a club and dancing or spend time with your kids? I'm talking about sacrifice. Who got friends that's single, but you married? Mm. They talk that single talk. No, but you're not married. I'm, I am. You know what I'm saying? So you want to keep me out so I can mess up my marriage. Provocateurs, insidious, kind of baffling. Come on. How you doing? You want to speak on that? Single. <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're here? Yeah. Okay. Is that, a, is that a good to be single right now? 
Yeah, good to be here. Absolutely. Very good. Uh, how much time you got to eat, bro? <laughs> uh, I got about 40 days. Hey, a lot of time. Bro. Sacrifice, and it hurts. Huh? I don't think it's good to be single. But I do, I do think that you need, I don't think it's good to be single. He said it's good to be single. I don't think it's good to be single because you weren't made to be here to be single. Okay. But to be able to know who the person that was uh, made for you in order to walk the earth to complete your purpose. Mm, okay. Very good. So you're some, he's just single temporarily. That's all. That's this all queen is out there. That's right. Depending on your ages, um, and single part is say, please forgive me and don't do it no more. As it'll focus with you through your recovery. Just stop there. Just park the car right there. Toxic yeah. relationships. A lot of us are toxic ourselves. We don't need yeah. to blame the throw dirt on the woman. I'm toxic. Yeah. Lying is toxic. How about silence? Any men come in the house and just take it one for granted that you show her silence? Meaning that you don't give her, uh, um, you look good today. God bless you. I love you. Uh, that the dinner do taste good. Taste good. You're doing a great job with the kids. Not to hear things like that. You're beautiful. You're growing. Listen, something about you. Just not phony words, but truthful words. Fresh from blood to the heart. But for her, for her not to hear that, silence is what? Abusive. Beyond being abusive. Who use their kids as spies? Who, who's in here? Whose shoes are these? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Who use their kids as weapons? Mm. Yes, manipulation. Come on, you want to speak on the chat? You already know. So you already know I got 33 years in my chair. Yes, sir. All that shit you said, you know my chair. What's your dad? What's your dad? What's your dad? Especially, I got a big call. Uh, you drop you you stop, you talk, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, when I tell you last time, uh, one day I came home, uh, the whole meal was cooked. Like, hey, somebody cooked there, you know, I'm thinking my brother's going to cook. She said, nah, I'll cook for you, here you go, here you go, here you go, I ain't eating that shit. That's, that's abusive. No, nah, she never cooked. You never cook. You've been there for 33 years. You want me to eat that shit now? Something was in it. Something was in it. You see, the man says, you know, as men and some women, we do so much dirt. Uh -huh. You know what I'm saying? We get in our minds. Shit is just fucked up. Uh -huh. It don't have to be like that. Like you said, it don't have to be like that. Uh -huh. This is the shit that we put on ourselves, not take responsibility uh -huh. for the bullshit that we cause people to do. Come on. You know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm getting at. You know? Mm -hmm. I, I lived that life before. I lived, yeah, yeah, I lived yeah, with a man yeah. for 10 years and cooked, cooked every single day. And he ate my food every single day uh, up until, uh, what it was, the last year or two before we slipped, um, separated, he stopped eating the food. And I was looking at it, why he stopped eating the food? We just came from church. You was taught to forgive. You was taught to forgive, but you know, so for us, in our mind, we need that shit. Right. We need that shit. Continue to leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it alone. I'm so much shit to you. You might want to get some revenge on me. So, you know, that's what we think right here sometimes. All right. But you know, it's foolishness. That's what I'm saying to you. It's foolishness. It's that fucked up behavior that is playing in our head, that we plant in our head. And we stick to the bullshit. You know what I'm saying? It causes a lot of breakups and fuck ups in relationships. Mm -hmm. It's the bullshit that we call for ourselves. Right. Mm -hmm. And that's what I'm getting. Right. How much time you got to clean, brother? Oh, man. All right. What do you need? Give it to all. Well done. <laughs> That's why I love 28 days on the bullock. You don't need no, uh, no you only relationship. Get a plant or an animal. And if it live past a year, maybe you're ready for what? Another human being. Because when you deal with human beings, that's a lot of sacrifice, a lot of dedication, a lot of honesty, listen, spontaneity, and all that. How about faith will result in what hope? Who got faith in life will get better? Faith without works is what? Dead. Yeah. Very good. My man right here in the blue. How you doing? Your hand was up? Uh, you got right faith? Y'all doing well. Good to see you. Yes, good to see you too. All right, all right, all right. I'm blessed. Okay. How's, how's faith for you? Faith is good. My kids is good. I'm good. I'm clean. Uh-huh. I got a job, I can't complain. Awesome, yeah, yeah, very yeah. good. How much time you got clean? Hey, all right. <laughs> Who fake was the scratch-offs? 
My favorite Love subscriber. Ticket. I mean, yeah, I'll be messing with the subscriber. Okay, all right, okay, all right. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, so all right, it's okay. It's just all about balance. Uh, anybody had a fake thing in a gun? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Oh. That rifle. Yeah. How about your reputation? Hand was up. Come on, bro. How you doing? I'm good. All right. Faith was in weapons. Okay. Well, you got the gun. No, I got the gun. <laughs> 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 okay. All right. Who in your favor now today? Ah. Yeah. Very good. How much time you got clean, soldier? How much time you got clean? One thing. Hey. One day. <laughs> God bless you, brother. How about listening? We'll be talking what learning. Listening, we'll be talking what learning. Who's listening in here? I am today. Uh, I am today. One girl said she smoked coke her whole pregnancy. Woo. And when a baby came out her womb, she celebrated. She jumped to the seventh heaven. Because she thought about baby baby was going to die in her womb. But God had other plans. And she jumped to the seventh heaven. By the time her feet hit earth from the seventh heaven, her baby went into seizures. And the baby fought for weeks, and the baby eventually dies and goes from time to eternity. And that devastated the mom, and she smoked coke and tricked the night before the baby's funeral. And the day of the funeral, she's so tired from tricking and getting high, she falls asleep right in front of her baby's casket. Mm. That was in the left hand, but in the right hand was an SS card. She shared that July 31st, 2018, before COVID. I was listening, and I remember that. And I was able to give it back to you. So August 1st, her car got activated, and she wound up using it again. Listening is very important. How about who listen to their kids when they got so much to say? Get and throw it back in our face. Come on. You want to speak on that? How you doing, brother? I'm good. I'm right. listening to my kids. Okay. How about any other areas of your life? You got a problem with listening? I have problems. with listening. I'm asking you. Do you have, like, somebody you don't like? Can you listen to them? Even if they give you truth, can you still listen to the messenger? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Receive the message, even though you don't like the message. That'd be good. Okay. How much time you got clean? Oh, uh, I just got out of rehab. So, uh, maybe like 40 days? Hey, all yeah. right. All right. Uh -huh. Listen. Hey, look, listen. I went to who, who filed taxes? And they said, never had your expectations higher than your acceptance. So I was never listening. I'm always hyper. I'm impulsive and obsessive and compulsive, right? That's my nature. That's in my aura. I'm learning to work on that right there. So I expected to get a return, but I wound up owing. Oh. <laughs> because I had people in my house, and I put them on my what? W-4s. But I didn't claim them. So the IRS said, oh, you a smart addict, Alec, huh? Let me show you who's better at being swifty and, and finessing. So I owe them the IRS 11 Gs. Woo! Now they have my attention. Now I'm listening. I owe them 25,000. Do you? But okay. They, they claim to sleep. Oh, yeah? I I well, I'm on a payment plan because they garnished your checks. So I called the IRS, and I didn't care how long it took. I waited patiently till I heard the operator. Then we got things done. The mail came every day, and I owe two hundred eight three dollars every month to pay off that eleven thousand dollars. Got to be responsible. You know how painful that is. Who don't like paying rent? Who don't like paying bills? You know what I'm the But who feel better? <laughs> but who feel better when you do pay bills? Good. Who know about a good broke? Who know about a good broke? What's a good broke? Um, a good broke. That means all bills are what? Paid. Hey. Right? But I'm what? Broke. I'm happy. Right. And versus you keeping your money and bills are what? Paid. Hey. Very good. All right. So listening will result in what? Learning. We got to listen if we want to start what? Learning. Who been in programs um more than one time? Because we wouldn't listen. You know what I'm talking about? Yes. All right. Who more humble today? Who heard if you don't get humble, you will be humiliated? Who believe that? Very good. If you don't get humble, you will be humiliated. How about the guy? How about the guy from uh, who was the guy who used to work at the bank in Louisville? And he found out that it was treating him a what? A, 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 a what did it say? A, a fire notice. He got an AR-15 and went to the bank before the bank opened up and killed five of his employees in Louisville. Shot the cop in the head. Then what? They killed him. How about go back to relationships? How about um, the guy in um, Denver, um, Denver um, Colorado, and, he's, and his wife served him divorce papers. How did he respond? Grabbed the gun, killed five of their beautiful children, killed her, and blew his brains out. Mm. Mm. See, recovery is bigger than drugs. Yeah. Life shows up every day. We got to make sure we have coping skills to what? That we can stay drug-free, stress-free, 
and jail free. And sucker free. And sucker free. But we got to listen to what? Learn. To learn. Because nobody know everything. Anybody think they know everything in here? Put a narcissist in here. Narcissist. Anybody in here like that? King babies are in here. Who know everything? How about, how about down here? Let's go here. Let's, let's dive right here. How about defense mechanisms? Who got their walls up in here? Got their walls up. All right. How about program gangsters? They come through here, Miss Sue? Oh, yeah. Jail in here. It's the state in here. Mountains in here. Federal, county. Nobody's scared of you. Guess who they afraid of? Who's that? It's a mask. How about intellectualization? Brainiac dum dums. Who's so smart still doing what? Dumb thing. Mask. How about inappropriate humor? Laughing and joking because I'm hiding pain. Anybody here like that? I've been there. Pinocchio, hiding. Spades, hiding. I declare war, hiding. On the trip shopping, hiding. Working, hiding. Eating, hiding. Playing, hiding. It's all about balance. Have fun, but first work on what? Yourself. Real important. Intellectualization, bring it How about argumentalness? Who does the argue in here? Who always right in here? <laughs> Who got to get the last word in here? Anybody mm -hmm. like that? You make great defense lawyers. You do good on law and order. Always debating. Anybody like that? Nobody? Somebody lying. Somebody lying. They lying. All right. Shut down time, 730, right? All right, good. All right, honesty will result in what? Trust. Who want to get high? Who still want to get drunk? What's stopping you? I don't like what it does to me. Okay, good. Is it worth it? Yeah. How long do a high last? Oh, not long. It's already gone. It turns into a job. Yeah, but by the time. How much time you got playing? 30 days. Hey, all right. All right. <laughs> honesty, anybody else want to get high? What's stopping you? Getting kicked out of here. Getting kicked out of here. Okay. All right. Anybody else? Who have drug drinks? All right. Come on. We're listening. Be honest. Come back and be honest. Who's still thinking about selling drugs? Because you don't like slow money. Who knows the legitimate money? Legitimate money moves too slow. $100 bills move like senior citizens when you're doing legitimate. <laughs> it's how senior citizens. $100 bills move. My like, God damn. When, the larger the bills, the slower they come. $50 bills, they, they got rid of the walker, but it's still smoother <laughs> like senior citizens. Good. $20 bills, they're picking up speed. $10, they start to flash. Dollar. $5, whole ass on around the track. Dollar, Dollar bills, Fly. invisible. The larger the bills, the slower they come when we're doing legitimate work. That's why a lot of us don't like legitimate work because they take taxes out your check. State wants some, federal wants some. And if you owe child support, uh -oh. Take a big check out of what? Bank big, big chunk out of what? My check. And you work all week long and you look for your check. Like, damn. Programming um, in South Philadelphia, ready, willing, and able. Them brothers be outside, out there for eight hours a day, I believe. On the truck, and they check. It's $40 a week. Yeah, I heard. That's all right. $40 a week. But if you're a man of integrity, I take that. Then jail. Damn right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But listen, but look, 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 hold, hold, wait, 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 hold on, let me say this, let me say this, let me say this, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me talk about me, let me talk about me, see, see, it's always spiritual, and I'm natural, of course I want more money than that, but spiritual, God is using that as a small test to see where my heart mm. is, because you're not always going to be eating crumbs forever, mm. because crumbs lead to what? Slices, excuse me. Slices, you want more crumbs, more slices. More crumbs, half a loaf. More crumbs, full loaf. But I got to respect the crumbs to appreciate the full loaf. And if $40 a week is what I'm getting, I got to hold on because better is coming. And a lot of us relapse, get shot, die before our time because we give up too soon. Play in here, damn it. We die there. How we practice is how we play. My man, what's the guy, what's the guy name who got seven rings? Uh, when he Tom just Brady. retired, Tom Brady. Practice until he retired. Either the rings, okay, I got him. He's still practicing, and that's how we gotta practice until we die to stay clean. Because the life is the way we receive the world and all the world God got for us when we stay clean. That's why I asked the brother, how long do a high last? Mine lasts for seven minutes, if that. And I lose so much for so little. How about last one? Connection will result in what love? Connection will result in love. Why is that important? How do we connect individually to collect collectively so we have an atmosphere of what? Love. Anybody? Connection will result in love. Anybody want to take a swing at that pitch right there? Come on, we're listening. To be 
selfless. Very good. It starts there. Very good. Who remember, remember the Titans? Yeah. Then um, Denzel, he, that based on a true story. He said, everybody off the bus. I want a black guy with a white guy. And that's your, that's your, your roommate. And I want you to know him. And I want him to know you and your philosophy and your background, your ideology and how you was raised, what music you like, what girlfriend you got. I want you to know him. And he took him to the Battle of Gettysburg. He said over 450,000 soldiers lost their lives and that we cannot come together collectively connected together, we'll die also. And they left a racist climate and went somewhere where it was what? Neutral ground. And they went back to the racist climate and played together and wound up winning the championship. Remember the Titans. They connected to have an atmosphere of what? Love. Based on a what? True story. I love Forrest Gump. And the guys, for those who got adversaries and obstacles, and you look at haters, I love haters. I don't come to be liked. Ever hear that? I don't come to be liked. Listen, and Forrest Gump's like, run, Forrest! And the boy with those big rocks was throwing big boulders at Forrest Gump. He hit him, he fell down. Then he wound up starting to run. And when he ran, the boys who threw the rocks helped him get out of his what? Braces. And it was a blessing in disguise because now he's out of his braces and now he's whole assing. Yeah. And now he ran home and he ran to school and he ran to the football field and he ran to Vietnam. And I love what he said, Private Dan's life. And he said, nobody gonna die on my watch. Forrest Gump was wild. He was a wild character, right? And I remember they were trying to get some sleep and Lieutenant Dan grabbed Forrest Gump off the bed and threw him to the floor and said, you bastard. <laughs> he said, I was supposed to die out there like my father and my brother. You messed up my destiny. And Lieutenant Dan was miserable, but he was still alive. And by the end of the movie, he had processed legs and he had a woman on his arm. He would have missed all of that if he died. Anybody get depressed in here? What kills your depression? What make, what cause you to get depressed? Uh, huh? I know. Uh, the past. The past? Yeah. Okay. Come on, depression. Who else? Depression. Real important. Robin Williams. I always talk about this because I thought it was funny, but Robin Williams was naturally funny. And, and listen, and when he did Mook and Mindy, he was the only guy standing on his head in the audition line. And the star was born. And he committed suicide after he did Jumanji, after he did Patch Adams, after he did One Hour Photo, The Psycho, after he did Cadillac Man, after he did Bicentennial Man, after he did The Awakening of Robert De Niro, after he did uh, um, Insomnia with Al Pacino, after he did um, RV, after he did The Angriest Man in Brooklyn, Go Will Hunting. Yeah, yeah, listen, the list goes, yo, Good Morning Vietnam. Miss Dalfire, after he did those, took his life. How about he got from CNN News? Anthony Bourdain. Oh, yeah. Yes. Depression is real. Got to get to the root of why we depressed. If we don't, we stay depressed. The brother said, what? The past. When you go to the past, you don't go there to live there. You go there for what? Reference. The last time I was hanging with them, I went to jail. Last time I hung with her, I got a, had a, got a quarter STD. You go to the rep, when I go to the past in my life, I go for reference, not to live there, but to get information for my present to have a better future. Listen, anybody looking for work, good group. I always get excited when I come here. <laughs> but three months, then well, you know that we for the breaks and all of that. So I tell Robbie, he said, What's up? And listen, if anybody looking for work, if you're coming through Philadelphia, they got something called um 2600, 2600 Washington Avenue. And you get $100 a day under the table. But you got to call the temp agency, call them first and set it up. But it is true. It's a legitimate job. But it runs through a temp agency that gets you there at that, at that process right here. All right. Huh? What's the name of the temp agency? I don't know the name of the temp agency. Dad, you know the name of the temp agency? It's on this list. Okay. She got it on the list right there. All right. Um, oh, JBS. That's on the list too. JBS, that's a sour temp PA. Three shifts, $18 an hour. If you cut meat, that's like $22 an hour. All right? Yeah, we, we break that down. We make copies for y'all. All right? For those who want to work and got three shifts, that's JBS. All right? Um, let me see what else. What else. Hey, dude, who want they CDLs? All right. OVR pays for them. Carpentry, they pay for that. Roofing, they pay for that. Electricians, they pay for that. 
want to go to school, get your GED, and work your way up the ladder of your education, they pay for that. That's O-V-R. Occupational Vocational Rehabilitation. Uh, you got to Google them. It'll come up. How about... Huh? It should be. Kind of thing they move in different counties, different places. All right. Twitcart, T W I C. Who know about Twitcart? Longshoreman. The guy told me 150 yesterday at, at um, Bowling Green. 150. He got his. And guess what? It's a right side. I didn't put the website down, right? But you be on the docks, Delaware, PA, Jersey. $22 plus on the docks working. Whatever comes on the docks, we work it. Cars, we drive them. Cocoa, bene cocoa bananas, uh, what else? Food, vegetables, bazookas, gun, crack, whatever they bring on the docks. All right. <laughs> Last time you don't know what you're handling, all right? But I'm never naive, all right? How's it get here? Uh, they don't drop stuff out the sky, do they? Right. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Who wanna be a state rep in here? We need your, we need your help down Kensington. Who ready for that? Who brave in here? Who strong in here? Who wanna step to Kensington? We need help down there. Who brave? Who cares? Am I talking about? Cause they said they, they said they killed the state rap. That's what I heard. <laughs> I don't know if that's true. I'm just saying. Yeah, he's, he's he's missing an action. They got hear that? He spoke. <laughs> he spoke. <laughs> he's great. But listen, y'all. I love y'all. Always have a beautiful time coming here. Listen, I'll be making copies for y'all. Pass it around the building and enjoy your night. All right, everybody, good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What's up, y'all? God, grant the serenity to accept the things we cannot change, the courage to change the things we can, and the wisdom to know the difference. God's will, not ours, be done. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Always a blessing. Always a blessing to hear you speak, man. Praise God.